An Indiana State Trooper is in jail tonight facing multiple charges, including public intoxication and criminal recklessness with a weapon. Fisher's police arrested him early this morning. It is the latest in a growing number of police officers arrested for alcohol-related offenses. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live outside our Monument Circle studios downtown with the story. Ebony? Drew, some people we spoke to today tell us that they were very surprised by this officer's arrest and by the arrest of other officers recently. But we also spoke to someone who works directly with first responders who say these arrests are just an indication of an underlying problem that often goes unspoken about. It's saddening. And, I mean, they are human. They make mistakes. So... I mean, it's just a matter of them getting themselves together and doing the job. This morning, another Indiana police officer in cuffs. Yes, they are humans, but we also know that we have to have accountability. Um, you have to be responsible. Fisher's police arrested Indiana State Trooper Christopher Dyer. They say he drunkenly waved his gun inside the Psalms Bar and Grill on East 96th Street. They found him a few blocks away walking on North by Northeast Boulevard. Police say he blew a .27 in a portable breath test and arrested him for resisting arrest, criminal recklessness with a weapon, and public intoxication. Dyer's alcohol-related arrest makes the third this month for Indiana police. Last week, ISP arrested Indianapolis Metro Police Officer Ronald Santa for drinking and driving. The week before, Mooresville police arrested IMPD officer Kevin Brown for the same thing. Florida-based Transformation Treatment Center has a program specifically for first responders, and leaders say substance abuse is just one pitfall of these stressful jobs. Especially with law enforcement, it's a lot of times they end up committing suicide. Uh, you know, the suicide rates in law enforcement are three to five times more higher than they are line of duty tests a year. Now, there's also a lot of other career paths that can lead to that as well. I'm not sure that that is something that can be used as an excuse. You have the more of them, the more officer, the most, uh, the outnumber the bad. So it does not sway my confidence in the, um, in the police. No, I need them. Once Dyer bonds out of the Hamilton County Jail, ISP leaders say he will work administratively in Evansville, meaning he will work in an office setting without a gun or without the power to make arrest. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6.